Shoes. Some people have tens of pairs of shoes in their closet, me included. Yet there are children that don't have a basic pair of sneakers to wear to school. That's why the Juniata United Methodist Church decided to start a shoe bank called Angel Feet Ministry. They're located in a prime location directly across from the elementary school. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Angel Feet Ministry. Hi, Dee. Thank you so much for inviting us in to see the shoe bank. How did you come up with such a cute name, the Angel Feet Ministry? We had a contest here at the Junior United Methodist Church, and Nancy Green said that uh, she entered Angel Feet Ministry as a possibility. And we used to have a, another ministry very similar for something else, angel related and sh we, we really like the angel feet ministry children entered and adults entered and we just came up with this name very neat and how did you get started with um, a shoe bank ministry what led you to start that about um, several years ago in 2007 we decided to visit a shoe bank ministry in state college that i had heard about I had lunch with several ladies from that ministry. They showed me around their shoe bank, and the dream for this shoe bank started at that time. Is there a large need for new sneakers in this area? Yes, we have children that are, are living in low-income homes, and they need shoes, and they need good, solid sneakers. And we felt we could bring this to our church, but we also are located directly across the street from the Juniata Elementary School, and we hope to be able to help serve those children as well. And I heard you say earlier, there's a reason that you want specifically new sneakers and not gently used sneakers. Yes. Well, Barbara Faulkner, who was the um, director at the Shoe Bank in State College, talked about why it was so important for children to grow into their own shoes rather than use somebody else's shoes. Because as they're growing, they need to feed, the, the shoes need to fit the contour of their little feet, not someone else's feet. So this is the reason we're asking for only brand new sneakers. Yeah, that makes sense. And I'm sure it makes them feel good to have a pair of brand new sneakers at school. So how do you raise the funds and the sneakers for the bank? Well, our pastor at our summer festival decided he would uh, take a dunk in the dunk tank, and he challenged us to uh, a fundraiser. So he raised over $500 for the shoe bank, and that money started us out with shoes. Since then, and last week, we, read, we decided to send out letters to every church in the district for the United Methodist Churches, as well as a few other churches. And we've had an overwhelming response already in cash and um, gift card donations to the project. Also, other churches have heard, has, have heard about our project and decided that they wanted to do little uh, fundraisers or shoe bank collections at their churches. What are some God moments that you've seen happen throughout this crying. project? I'm going to start crying. I'll start crying with this part, but this has been a God moment. Because this has been a dream to have a shoe ministry here in Altoona or Blair County for some time, probably about five years, um, what I've seen is that um, I met with the um, outreach committee of this church in May, and this room was full of other things, stuff, so to speak. And um, a person in the committee said, let's clean that, that room out and begin a shoe bank ministry. So that's what we did in a, on a day in June. We cleaned this room out. The paint was donated for the room. The, a painter was donated to us for the room. He painted the room for us. The shelving was donated as the hospital went out of business in the area. The shelving came to be, and the shoes have started to pour in. It's so wonderful to see how God can really work everything out um, to fit together for that plan. How has it affected your spiritual walk? Well, I, I've worked with children pretty much all my life, and I felt the need that we needed to provide for children in all areas of their lives. And this is a way that we can provide shoes for their little feet. And this is so important for our children 
And also for me, I'm just watching God's awesomeness as he puts this ministry together because this is his ministry, not ours. It is his ministry. Well, if you would like to learn more about Shoe Bank Ministries um, and this one specifically, you can check out my Facebook page or my blog at sesquihannaexpress.blogspot.com.